welcome to Seniors in Action. We're talking about painting today, and uh, I'm going to talk about oil painting, uh, painting with acrylics, and then uh, watercolors. So um, <clears throat> there are a lot of other types of painting, but uh, we can't cover them all in this video. So those are the three that I'm going to cover. Uh, painting to stay active keeps you mentally active, keeps you uh, to some degree physically active. You're using your arm and hands out there anyway may improve your dexterity and certainly uh, it improves your uh, brush strokes after a while if you continue doing it so good to be with you anyway this is a channel that's dedicated to activities for seniors and uh, not only activities for seniors but also um, uh, topics for seniors concerning health and uh, uh, taxes social security medicare things like that so if you've got any uh, Topics that you would like me to cover, uh, just let me know. Put it in the comments section of this video and I will uh, write me a comment and I'll uh, see if I can't uh, do a video on that at some point in time. So let's get going. We've got our affiliate marketing disclaimer here. And uh, this is a picture entitled Agony in the Garden by Franz Schwartz. Uh, uh, this, this is a reproduction done by my sister, Jennifer Funk. And... Uh, Jennifer's became quite a good artist, and so if you compare this to the original, it looks very good. It's uh, uh, So this is not the original, this is Jennifer's uh, painting of this, but uh, you can become a very good painter if you uh, uh, do it over the years. Jennifer's done it for quite a long time. She's a much better painter than I am. Mine uh, look pretty primitive compared to hers, but... Uh, Let's talk about the benefits of painting. Uh, if you look on the web, there's all sorts of benefits of painting. It, uh, you can find page after page, website after website, but here are a few of them. Uh, and uh, so it promotes stress relief. Uh, mental health and stress or anxiety often go together and this helps. And I, I've noticed when I'm painting that uh, it is relaxing. I mean, you can just go in and it's something that you can do by yourself. You don't need partners or uh, you know, to play cards or do something else or play a game. It's something that you can do all alone and um, uh, a nice uh, a nice activity. Anyway, expands creative growth, bolsters memory, uh, enhances problem solving and motor skills. I'm not sure how it does all these things, but uh, cultivates emotional growth and then stimulates an optimistic attitude. So maybe I have a more optimistic attitude than what I would if I didn't paint. So uh, there you go. Um, types of painting. Let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of different types of painting. Oil painting has been around for years. I mean, this is what the old classic artists used, and uh, um, it's a very good, good type of painting. It uh, lasts for years, um, especially depending on what you paint it on. I mean, it can be painted on just about anything. Most people today put it on canvas. Uh, but you can paint it on hardboard, you can paint it on just regular boards. Um, and if you do that, they last forever, um, which canvas may not last as long. But anyway, Advantage is, uh, it's got a long drying time. So with the fact that it's got a long drying time, you can work with the paints for a long time. Um, so if you paint one day and you need to come back the next day and uh, uh, go over the top of it or something or change it a little bit, it's easy to do. Um, and uh, it's got very vibrant colors. It's very nice. Uh, the colors do age. They tend to yellow at times. Uh, after, after age, they may crack. But uh, a great range of finishes and effects. Um, disadvantages are, I mentioned, they, they, they sometimes uh, yellow or they crack at times. Uh, they darken. Um, very difficult to clean up. You know, you need turpentine. Uh, Turpentine is smelly. Um, in addition to the long drying time, which is also a disadvantage because you can't go over something very, real quickly. Uh, you know, the television artist, Bob Ross used to paint in oil and he uh, was good at it. Uh, and uh, you take Jerry Arnell, for example, he's good at it too, but he paints in acrylics on his TV show because it's much easier to uh, paint with acrylics because it dries so quickly you can just go over it and continue on with your painting um, but uh, one of the things I didn't like and my wife didn't like about oil painting and I started oil painting is the odor um, 
it is pretty offensive to some, especially to my wife. And um, so, uh, and then the cleanup was very hard. I mean, when you're using turpentine to clean up, even if you've got an odorless turpentine, it still has a little bit of odor. And, uh, uh, and then you need uh, a medium to actually thin the paints and stuff. So oil paintings, you know, it's got its problems, but um, there are a lot of advantages to oil painting. Let's look at acrylic painting. And acrylic is a water-based paint that looks like oil paint, basically. It's almost the same as using oil paint. Uh, but it's water-based, so it's easier to clean up. You don't get the odor. Uh, on the other hand, though, it's um, uh, it tends to darken a bit when it dries. Um, it's got a short drying time, which is both a benefit and a uh, disadvantage to it. Um, the short drying time, uh, you can paint something and then come back and uh, paint paint around it really quickly because it dries so fast. Uh, it is durable. Uh, Probably not as durable as oil, but uh, I tell you, when you get it on your clothes and then let it dry, it's not coming off. So, I mean, it uh, it is very durable. And uh, the short drying time is also a disadvantage because um, some people, um, um, you don't get the opportunity to change it like you would oil uh, as quickly. So, uh, if you're a painter, you know what that means. And it... Um, uh, it dries so fast that uh, sometimes you don't get to uh, do some of the uh, wet on wet technique that you do with oil, for example, and uh, it's good technique. So uh, there are some disadvantages to acrylic as well. Uh, I'm using acrylic now. Like I say, I started with oil, but I changed to acrylic, acrylic because of uh, ma mainly the cleanup and the, uh, uh, the odor. Um, so my wife didn't like the odor. So um, uh, let's look at watercolor. And watercolor is probably the easiest to clean up and easiest to use. It's the cheapest. Um, probably the hardest to paint with, though. Um, I mean, you can get uh, good at watercolor, but to be very good, it's, uh, it's pretty unpredictable. It's hard to master. Um, drying time is very short, uh, like acrylic. Probably dries faster than acrylic. And uh, but easier cleanup, no odor, um, infinite choice of values and hues, and you can create some beautiful things with watercolor. I started painting actually with watercolor, and I really did like it. And I don't know why I don't use watercolor anymore. I I do like watercolor, and uh, you can create some some really interesting uh, effects with watercolor that uh, are uh, are beautiful, which you can't with oil or well, or acrylic, but uh, then that goes the other way around as well. Um, you can't get those big, bold colors that you do from oil and acrylic. So, so anyway, uh, this is a painting that I did at Yellowstone Falls. Uh, it's a very elemental type painting. I mean, it's, uh, I'm not that good a painter yet, but I hope to improve. Uh, I did this with uh, painting with Jerry Arnell who is a PBS, he painted on PBS, and he's also got an online school that uh, he instructs people on, and he's got a, he's got a studio that, all, that he instructs in person in, in Oklahoma, so, uh, but Jerry's a good teacher, and so he, um, he, he can teach you how to, how to paint. Let's look at the supply cost to get into painting. It's not, it's not overly prohibitive. Um, I've taken all these off of Jerry's website, Jerry Arnell's website, and uh, uh, and I wanted actually just to take them all three of them off there so that you can compare the prices of different types of supplies. Now these are water miscible oil. That means that it's water uh, that it uh, can be cleaned up with water and thinned with water. So it's not it's not the true oil paint that's what you what the oil masters use and which most people use for oil. But it gives you a price of what oil might, uh, an example of what an oil paint might be. So this is a kit here for $355. It's a starter kit. Now oil miscible, water miscible oil probably is a little bit more expensive than regular oil. So uh, $355 is a little bit more than you'd have to pay if you're getting oil paints. Um, oil is a little bit more expensive than acrylic, but... Um, I don't think it's going to be quite as expensive as the water miscible oil here. Uh, 
Although you do have to get the uh, you do have to get the mediums with oil uh, where water is miscible oil you're just using water and uh, when I say medium that's what you're going to thin and mix the paints with so uh, it could be about the same so this kit for example um, the things you don't see in this kit you've got a palette here for example and you've got watercolors you've got a couple of training videos and um, uh, when I say watercolors you've got uh, your oil, water miscible colors there. Um, so, um, and you got your brushes, a pretty good kit, but what it doesn't have is, uh, it doesn't have an easel in it, and you'll need an easel if you're going to paint, something to hold your canvas or whatever you're painting on, and then you need your canvases, and uh, your canvases aren't uh, especially uh, expensive if you pick them up. Uh, you don't have to buy the gallery-grade canvases when you're first starting out, and uh, Actually, if you paint something and don't like it, you can paint over the top of it four or five times and uh, um, so use the canvas quite a bit. But uh, So you can get them at White Michaels or Hobby Lobby for a fairly inexpensive price. So, But your canvas is not in here and then your easel is not in here. And your easel can be very expensive uh, or you might pick up a desktop easel for 50 or $60, you know, or a metal easel for uh, display easel it doesn't cost that much but uh, you can pay hundreds of dollars for easels as well so uh, but you do need an easel so those are two things that aren't in this uh, kit and they're not going to be in the other kits that I show you either so here is an acrylic kit for 299 so this is about $56 uh, less expensive than the oil kit and uh, Still, you've got your palette and you've got your oil paint or your acrylic paints and your brushes, and uh, then your two learning DVDs there, so um, or CDs, and uh, in this case, they're DVDs. And you've got your uh, <clears throat> um, uh, your water is going to be your medium, but you've got your little uh, container there for water, okay. Um, so pretty good. That's a pretty good kit. You've got quite a few colors there, which is uh, is nice. And uh, and look at watercolor. Watercolor you're not using, for example, uh, um, canvas. Um, so um, you use paper for watercolor, and so you've got the watercolor paper right there, and your brushes and your colors. So watercolor is only 199 in this case, and it's even cheaper than that because you don't have to buy the uh, canvases. But uh, 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 watercolor is a pretty cool way to paint if you want to start out. I mean, it's uh, but you choose. I mean, you choose what you want to do. And uh, uh, so let's look at some of the training that's available that I've looked at. Now, there's all sorts of training available out on the on the web, but. Uh, I'm just going to name a few here. Uh, Jerry Yarnell is good. Um, he's got a television program on PBS, uh, Paint This. Um, uh, Wilson Bickford's got a television program on PBS. Those are free. You can look at those and paint with them. YouTube, Bob Ross has still got videos out on YouTube, and uh, he's got a DVD that he sells. Chuck Black, for example, has got videos out on YouTube, and Chuck's very good, especially with animals, I think. Uh, and those are free on YouTube. Um, you can get an internet internet subscription with Jerry Yarnell for $25 a month. Uh, I happen to have that, and I, I use that. Uh, um, and you can go out to his site and take, uh, you know, he's got hundreds of paintings out there where he instructs you how to paint them, so you can pick a painting and go through it. And he may go through it in like four or five lessons and uh, tell you how to paint that particular painting. And uh, it's very helpful. Uh, but it is $25 a month. You've got your local senior center that um, in all these you're going to have to pay for supplies. Uh, they're not going to give you free supplies. Uh, your local college, uh, often just a fee for supplies again, especially if you're a senior. Uh, and uh, then you can get personal training with an artist. Uh, and those vary. I mean, that can be very expensive or it can be fairly inexpensive. But... Um, uh, I know my sister, uh, she was um, training with a fellow named Frank Cavino, and I actually went to one of his classes. I think it was $500 for a weekend. Uh, and he would show you how to paint in the old master's style. 
and paint uh, after the old masters. And so he, you would take a, one of the old masters painting and um, and paint it, and uh, he usually had pretty good results. So I mean, it, uh, he was a good instructor, and so she's uh, learned quite a bit from that. But but personal training with an artist is going to it's going to vary. So. Uh, Anyway, I encourage you to take up painting if you're not. I mean, it is something that you can do by yourself, in your home. You don't have to go anywhere. You, you get your supplies and uh, you can either order your supplies online. You don't even have to go out and get them. So with uh, COVID-19 going on, it's a very, very good thing to stay home and uh, uh, stay active mentally, stay active physically a little bit. And... Uh, uh, Keep yourself active and keep yourself doing stuff and uh, create something that uh, you're pleased with and is beautiful and that you might be able to uh, leave to your posterity uh, in future years. And uh, So anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And um, again, I appreciate you uh, tuning in.